You're listening to Liquid, free-flowing music to open your mind with Collins and Mason in association with my-londontaxi.com. At this moment, you are now listening to Collins and Mason. And they're basically boys that have been separated at birth. One goes on to become a kind of government super spy, and the other one remains a moron. Are y'all ready for this? Do it one time! Live, right now, coming to your speakers. All right, let's get it in. Getting our revenge on mainstream radio. With Shizzle Bizzle. Hey, did you know you can contact the boys on their new website? It's collinsandmason.co.uk. From the site, you can download all of the latest episodes of the show. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can, so that's great.
This is Liquid. Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hyphen London Taxi dot com. Uh, that was Lisette Wilson and uh, Caveman Boogie. I haven't heard that for ages. I was going to say everybody together. <laughs> we haven't heard <laughs> that for <laughs> absolutely ages. Uh, no, it's good that, wasn't it? Oh. Although it did get me because that little break in the middle. I thought it had finished already. I, <laughs> I went into panic mode. <laughs> <laughs> I got the look as if to say. <laughs> Why the hell did you do finish it like that? Yeah, when it still says it's got over a minute to go on the clock. But anyway. Right, how are you? How's everybody at home? Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Um, What a week it's been. What a week it's been. Well, weather-wise, here in the UK, uh, just just to the east of London town, it's been tropical. I'm sure we've had the jet stream. Sweaty. I've had I've had my Speak van. For I've had my van for mm, coming up to three three years now, and the amount of times I've had to use my aircon button twice probably before that. Right now I need it. It doesn't work. There's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I knew, need a new condenser and yeah, a that, radiator. That does sound like a London taxi, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, air conditioning. I get thanked for the air conditioning, which which tells me that regular taxi users are not used to it. Don't have one. <laughs> no, dangerous driving weather, chaps. Uh, oh, well, Ab- it is for you. Absolutely dangerous. What do you mean for me? You're in London. Yeah, but you're a pervert. True. There you go, see? <laughs> uh, anyway, new stuff on the show this week. Della Sola got a brand new album out. And, oh, uh, yeah. And so we've, uh, we've, um, we've cherry-picked off of it. Uh, <laughs> so we've got a new track from them um, featuring Snoop Dogg. And I've got this thing on my phone. Trouser-filling which... joy for Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's asking me to rate the app. No, go away. No. <laughs> uh, but basically, we've got him in the studio with us. Snoop Doggy Dog. But shizzle dizzle. There you go. So uh, he'll be joining in the show. You might hear quite a lot of that this week. <laughs> well, it's either that or your drum and bass machine. Oh, that's it. That you've got there. Uh, Kylie Eldest, also, she's got a new album out, Our Antipodean Friend. Very, uh, very 80s, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, it's got an 80s groove about it, which is really nice. Um, we we didn't do uh, brownie points last week, did we? I don't think. Well, we'd been collecting them so that the harvest was good this summer. <laughs> we... We have been thrashing our listeners. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, and um, and uh, Soul Music Royalty has been in touch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Mark is our new PR guru. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, and um, oh, and Injures, uh, friends of the show, uh, talking of um, Soul Music Royalty, mm-hmm. uh, good friend of the show, Yeah. Uh, Tony Monrell... Is, is, What's he done? He's injured himself. How? Uh, What's well, he injured? I'll go into it. What, has he dropped his wallet on his foot or something? It's, uh, well, he could have done. Oh. <laughs> it's, it would have the same effect, I think. Uh, I think he's... You know, like when you get the air miles, you get those little uh, tokens. Oh, right. I think he dropped the air sack, miles. Sack, sack of tokens. <laughs> it didn't have anything to do with a Jack Daniel and Honey bottle. bottle. Uh, I, well, Ooh. yeah, that's his new tipple. <sighs> yeah, that's, he could have been, could possibly do that, or or he dropped Nev G's cake on his foot. Oh, well, that's a bit unfair She's, on Nev G's cake, isn't it? She, she'll of, be on the phone now. You know, <laughs> talk, talking of Nev G, she, she on her tweet line this week, she put uh, doing the show live in the Dominican this week. Life's a bitch. I know. <laughs> I just sent her a message back. FFS. It's tough at the top. Yeah, it? please. Don't it, rub it in. Yeah, go away. Uh, right. So We uh, need a new PR agent. <laughs> uh, there was another story about something like that as well, but I'll, uh, I'll, we'll delve into it a bit later. Oh, lots, okay. of, lots of traffic on Facebook this week. Uh, social media. Uh, what's it called, And Our Twitter account. Our Twitter account. <laughs> Get with the program, Granddad. Uh, anyway, um, also... <laughs> woofers and tweeters. Woofers and tweeters, that's right. Uh, so, uh, but well, I forget where I was going there. Oh, yeah, no, that was the... Um, uh, we have a new section in the show as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, a new feature, which we're going to call I Didn't Even no, Know I, I Had, had This. <laughs> thanks, uh, to, thanks to iTunes. The 11 million's in the post. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yeah. yeah. Checks in the post. Uh, yes. So, um, yeah, loads of good stuff coming up on the show. Uh, and also, um, last week we had, uh, well, it was Bobby Womack, and um, I think we started doing the Blues Brothers doing impersonations of uh, John Lee Hooker. It, it, it was Bobby Womack doing impersonation of John Lee Hooker playing one of the Bobby Womack songs. That's it. Are you keeping up? Because we will be asking questions. Covered by the Rolling Stones. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, this week uh, we, we're going James Brown impersonators. Oh, fantastic. But um, to a level which I don't think we've sunk to before. <laughs> if I, if Pl- I... Plumb the depths. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, we'll play some JBs for you. Hello, where's the, where's the gardener this week? Is it all done? All the patio's Is finished. the West Wing finished? Only tell my wallet's empty. <laughs> yeah. And some. Uh, this is the JB's, uh, and this is Use Me, but this is the slight edit. This is Liquid, Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hyphen London taxi dot com. That um It's different, isn't it? It's short. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sweet. And sweet, I think, yeah. Uh, the JB's use me, that's the uh, sly edit, uh, which is good. But uh, yeah, mainly we'll play that because later on in the show uh, we have a, a, a James Brown impersonator. <laughs> but he's he's good though, I've gotta say. He's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Except he, he obviously he doesn't know the the word for four in English. <laughs> but you only need the one for James Brown stuff. Oh, yeah. It's all on the one, baby. <laughs> uh, yes. So, anyway, uh, Soul Royalty. Uh, um, although it, we've since found out that this, this gentleman does listen to the show. So, um, <laughs> we've got to be very careful what we say here, Andy. No, no we don't. Well, no. Anyway, uh, last week, you may remember that uh, this weekend, um, I'm actually not here because, you know, we pre record the show. So, um, I'm in Italy. I'm in Como. Uh, Lake Como. Going for the Grand Prix. Well, yeah, on the Sunday we're, we're going to the Grand Prix. The current Mrs. Collins is um, into Formula One stuff. I think she just fancies Lewis Hamilton. So we're going to see that. Oh, very nice. Uh, but anyway. Um, I could ring David Coulthard up for you. He might be able to get you. Oh, yeah. Pit pass. You name dropper. Hey. Anyway, so, uh, so, so <laughs> we mentioned this in last week's show. And. Um, and I got a little message come through on the sort of private message thing on, on Facebook from uh, from Arthur Miles. Fantastic. Because Arthur Arthur lives in, in Como. So uh, yeah. he just thought it was a good idea if we were coming out there to, to meet up for a beer. I think that's an excellent choice to live. 
Yeah, so do I. It's no, he's lived lo- out there for quite a few years, apparently. Yeah, it's a so, lovely, lovely place. Yes. Well, I don't know, because I've never been there. Well, Ooh. I have now. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> How is the time machine? Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, so this is Saturday tea time. So Saturday tea time, you'll be sitting in a bar with a nice cold beer with one of your, your musical icons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where did it all go wrong, Mark? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, they yeah. asked George Best as he was sprawled out with Miss World. <laughs> so, although Arthur, uh, hopefully you're listening to this after we've had a beer and, and stuff, uh, and it wasn't too painful for you. Uh, but, uh, but uh, I said to Andy, I said uh, Arthur Miles has made contact, you know, like, but and so and, he, I, said, and I went, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. So I said, no, dig out some Arthur Miles stuff. <laughs> uh, so he did. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good though. Have a listen. Oh no, have a listen. Yeah. Oh, press the button. I fell in love with a neighbor's girl. Her cheeks was fair and white. It's it not one of these more well-known tunes. <laughs> it turns out there's two Arthur Miles. <laughs> According to Wikipedia... <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> you can... Arthur Miles was a 1920s uh, cowboy... Um, Thro- he was known as a throat singer, whatever that is. All right. Uh, and apparently there are only two recordings left in history, one of which we played, and the other one is Helping Hands, of course. <laughs> no, it's so, not. No, so Wikipedia have got that <laughs> wrong then, haven't they? Yeah, uh, they're, they're, <laughs> yeah so anyway, um, I was actually talking about this Arthur Miles, Anne. Oh. oh, according to uh, Wikipedia, this Arthur Miles invented Viagra and the colour talk. Right. Uh, this is Victims of Love, Arthur Miles. This is, I love this track, it's brilliant.
to Lick with Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hi for LondonTaxi.com Arthur Miles and Victims of Love taken from the album A Love for All Seasons which is a great album actually uh, now Arthur I've got a bit of a warning for you I think Mark might try and bend your ear on Saturday night what for? to introduce him to another friend of the show Colin Watson ah uh, yeah well me and Andy was just having a little natter about uh, it's some... our new money making plan <laughs> split three ways <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you didn't talk about that bit before when we talked about it. But no, well, yeah, no, we should introduce Arthur to Colin Watson, I think. Cool, yeah. Uh, and get Colin to do some remixes of some of his old tracks. What a match made in heaven. Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, Arthur probably listening to this afterwards and he's poo pooed the idea already. <laughs> oh, bro. So, uh, yeah, no, no, I'm looking forward to that. Having a few beers with a soul legend. I'm sure and he won't appreciate me saying that, but. <laughs> how lucky is that that you mention it one week? You're actually going on holiday two weeks later, and you find out that he lives within striking distance of the huge temple of extravagance that you'll be staying at. Oh, yeah, yeah. Current Mrs. <laughs> Collins booked the hotel, so that won't be cheap. Oh, in fact, I just felt a pain in my, in my wallet. Oh. <laughs> you imagine? Here we go. They're staying where? <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, yeah, stick it on a room, mate. Yep, lovely. <laughs> Get a tab running. Uh, shh. <laughs> anyway, right, uh, <laughs> on to um, other soul legends, a uh, friend of the show, Tony Monrell, oh, right, okay. lead singer with Incognito, uh, and various solo projects which he's doing at the moment, uh, and that, he, I just saw this thing on Facebook came up, and, um, and it was Tony in a wheelchair, and I'm thinking, he doesn't usually use that mode of oh, transport. I'm done. <laughs> he's going in the Paralympics. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, but it turns out, uh, health and safety in, in uh, Russia... Uh, doesn't really come up to the same sort of standards as it does in most other places. Really, right? I'm shocked. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure Tony should have bear this in mind. I'm sure when he uh, when he, when he was playing a gig there. Uh, but basically, the stairs where you come off backstage uh, from doing a do the stairs normally. Oh, like, look, let, let's, let's rewind just a fraction. Here. Okay, okay. If you're an international superstar, <laughs> yeah, and somebody says we've got a gig in Russia, you've got two answers here. Oh, yes, I'd love to. Or, are you really sure? I'm doing my ear. <laughs> Which one would you go for? No, the thing is, mate, the market, out there, of, it, 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 there's millions of people in Russia. And, and what, I, I've seen some fo- Yeah, and I've seen some footage of, of uh, some of the gigs that he's done there before, yeah. both with Incognito and on his own. And the crowds are huge. I mean, massive. Because, oh, yeah, right. we'll think about it. Not a lot happens in Russia, does it? So it's like, it's a night out, isn't it? Drink vodka? Peel potatoes. Get a life. It's a bit, yeah. <laughs> so you know. Uh, so yeah. So he's gone. <laughs> he's gone anyway. He's gone out. All there, right. I'll let you go away. With that. It turns out that the health and safety regulations are not quite up to scratch, uh, because most places, I think, it's a, a kind of prerequisite that the stairs that lead to and from the backstage area have to have a handrail. <laughs> uh, anyway, on because this particular occasion, yeah, because it's dark, and they've normally got that yellow tape around it, so you oh. can see exactly where you're grabbing hold of. Uh, so anyway, the stairs turns out not didn't have a handrail. So uh, Tony's gone um, apex over elbow, uh, 
and he actually thought that he might have broken his ankle. Um, so, so they've the thing was, he was like literally, he came off stage, uh, went back, had a shower, got a flight out, like oh. booked out. So oh. he had no time to do anything. So they just whacked him in a wheelchair oh. <laughs> in the airport. Uh, I think he flew to Madrid. So he got the wheelchair treatment, and then he was doing a gig that night as well, so he had to go straight to the sound check or whatever. So he just didn't get a chance to, to go anywhere. To Did they give him at. the same tablets that you take to get on a plane? Yeah, <laughs> I, would, yeah I would imagine so. Plane? Uh, yeah, super strength diazepam. You can't go wrong. Uh, so he's... So he's uh, so I just I sent him a text. I said, Tony, you all right, mate? So he said, no, I thought I broke it. He said, but I think I've just sprained it. So our message to Tony is man up. <laughs> just put a crepe bandage on it, Sam. What's the matter with you? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Absolutely. Put put some ten old Doctor Martins on. Yeah. Strap it. In. Yeah. Tie the laces tight. Yeah, fine. So, but anyway, I said to him because uh, you never know where Tony's going to be in the world from literally one day to the next. So I thought you never know he might be somewhere near Milan, Como. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I said, where are you next week? <laughs> uh, so I've done right, it so down, no, 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 no. Right. So where are you next week? No, unfortunately, he's not. <laughs> like because that would just that be would have been heaven. Weird, right? it? it would have been weird as well. Uh, so I'm doing all the kind of feeling sorry for him, you yeah. know, like uh, sympathy pouring out oh, of, of, of all, every all, orifice. orifice. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> so where are you? Uh, Lanzarote for five days. Go on, mate. You just chill out. You, no, no. Take it easy, Tony. Yeah. You've hurt yourself badly. Take it easy, mate. Oh. Terrible. Uh, should we play one of his tracks? Why though? not? That'll cheer him up, won't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Tony. Not have a particle. I may not have a bill to fold, but it's all right. Cause I'm get it soon. I may not be where I want in life, but all in all, there is all.
This is Liquid, Mark Rollins and Andy Mason here with my-london-taxi.com. Tony Monroe, pick me up. Oh, a, baby. Such a nice tune. See, it? that was my master plan. Was that if he also happened to be anywhere near uh, Milan or, or Como, it was, it was to drag him along as well. So you could have had like a duet, Tony Monroe and Arthur Miles, remixed <sighs> by Colin Watson. What could possibly go wrong? It's a Christmas number one. I think so, personally. But anyway, they... <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, no, it, we've, got an, out, this, though. we've got an outlet for it, DSG. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Disco sold gold records. We'll, uh, yeah, no, we just put uh, put them in touch and, and, like you say, Christmas number one. We're like soul music fixers, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> in your dreams, Ed, in your dreams. <laughs> uh, anyway, but no, in all seriousness, get well soon, Tony. I hope your ankle clears up, mate. Yes. Uh, but it is just a sprain. Man up, put a plaster on it. Take an aspirin, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, yeah. An aspirin and half a bottle of JD and H, no problems. I don't think you should be recommending that to people, though. All right, only a quarter of a bottle. Of JD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I just yeah stick just, it on just, the national health? Just for legal purposes, can yeah. I just state that anything that comes out of Andy Mason's mouth, can you not take any notice of, please, folks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, what everybody else. As well as my wife. Yes. It's yes, been yeah. like being at home, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, right. Um, we've got a feature coming up uh, very shortly, which is the new feature. I didn't even know I had this. Ah. Which, uh, <laughs> which I'll let Andy explain a bit uh, a bit later <laughs> on. But this is after. Now, Andy said to me, um, oh, there's this jazz track, right? Have a listen to this. But it's like angry jazz, isn't it? It's, it is. I, whoever's mixed this up really knows how jazz vocals work because they just fit in with the music and it's really well done i, I haven't got a clue the uh, the the uh, guy doing the vocals sounds like something like uh, i don't know young mc or something <laughs> to me i only heard the first little bit of it's, it's more sort of independent you know it sounds like someone out of red hot chili peppers or oh, uh, that right. sort of uh, it's, it's it's a culture clash as well as a musical mashup okay so so should we say that uh Jazz lovers and aficionados, you know, reserve... Reserve judgment till you've heard it in its entirety. <laughs> which then, is that, then, which, then reach for the bucket. Which is only two, two minutes and 20 seconds long, so anyway, have a go. Yeah. It starts well. Oh, yeah. No, it's different, though, isn't it? It's got, yeah, very uh, different. Yeah, no, very. But uh, <laughs> but but whilst it was playing, um, you sussed it out. 
Uh, yeah, the vocals actually come from uh, Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name of. Uh, you might remember this. It might spark a little thing at the back of your brain. Do you remember, oh, five, ten years ago? It was probably the, longer than that than viewers. There was... Um, it, there was a Bodie McBoatface moment going on, right? Where the great British public spoke, because, <laughs> because they try they release an X Factor numpty to be the Christmas number one, ah, uh, right, and, yeah. ev- and everybody went, do you know what? We're really bored with this, and there was a sort of uh, Facebook campaign to uh, to to get Rage Against Them, which which is one of the most obscure, non-number one singles. It was probably never even thought of as a single. It, it kind of rings a bell. And they tried to push that to, to knock it off. Ah, oh, right. Okay, well, there you so go. There's there, there an explanation go. of that. <laughs> well, 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 how, many, how many other stations are playing Rage Against the Machine jazz version? Nice. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> uh, no. uh, I was just trying to look for the cover. Where's it gone? I've lost it. No, just to, uh, uh, oh. no. I can't remember what um, what the track was. Who, who's that? Talk amongst yourselves. For who's, a the, who's the lady DJ on the station? Um. <laughs> Oh, I can oh, Nev. I can, no, no, Nev, no. there's a challenge. Play that on your show, girl. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if you're struggling, I'll send you a copy. Oh, that's that's really bad. I can see her face and everything, and I can't remember her name. <gasps> Terrible. <laughs> Fortunately, she doesn't listen to the show. That's all right. Then. So yeah, she does. She follows us on Twitter, mate. You be careful. Yeah, no, it's you be careful because you've got access to the Twitter account. All oh, right. Whereas you haven't got access to uh, Facebook, which uh, is good. Our Twitter sphere. And the reason it's good you haven't got access to Facebook and is I can I can impart pieces of information on you oh thanks that you haven't seen before <laughs> uh, because what old pictures uh, no no not not necessarily oh right okay. uh, there is uh, a good old good old friend of the show mm-hmm. uh, been on as a guest um, Baz the Cab oh right okay we like Baz everyone knows Baz mm. and that is true you can be anywhere with Baz. In fact, me and Mark McCabe was having a conversation about this yesterday. He's the dorm. Uh, he used to be a doorman as well. Yeah, he used to be a dorman. At oh, the if only we could have got him to tell the stories off that he told us off air. Yeah, no, air. you couldn't. Which would be much uh, more no, fun. possibly couldn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he was a, well. He was um, he was the dorman at the Palm Beach Casino in Mayfair. So, um, uh, but the thing is, Baz knows everyone. I, we said yesterday. I swear, swear to you, right? If you was to put him in any pub. Mm. Anywhere east of of London, from the centre out, and just sit him on a bar stool for ten minutes. I guarantee somebody would come up and go, "All right, Baz," because that's what. Honestly, it's terrible. He's a face, mate. No, he is. He's, a face. <laughs> He's got a face that could sink a few ships. Uh, no, the uh, but the other person as well, uh, uh, another golfing buddy. Uh, again, found out yesterday. He's a right face, Ian Jasper. All right, he, again, same thing. Great Suffolk Street Taxi Cafe, right? That well-known establishment. <laughs> for the Sunday Roads an, Club, is, right? This is an official thing. I just, just a, no, no. a porter cabin parked up. Both. Oh, right. Right, so anyway, uh, Great Suffolk Street. Uh, Ian Jasper, not been in there for years. I mean, like, 15 years, right? Just come in there. To, I, I just put on the... We've got, like, a WhatsApp group thing with loads of the golfers that I go with on Tuesday. And I just put on the WhatsApp group... I'll GSS for a cup of coffee if anyone's about. Ian walks in, right? I see your message. I thought I'll come and buy you a cup of coffee. Top man. Sitting there, two minutes, about four people walk past. All right, Ian? <laughs> how do you know him? How do you know him? Ah, oh, well, him? when I was a face down the airport, and, <laughs> uh, and, all, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I mean, he's going to have a Baz the Cab time. on my head. But anyway, getting back to Baz the Cab. Um, uh, well, I'm desperately trying to find you. Got this thing through Facebook, and it said Baz the Cab has tagged you in a in a post. Right, <laughs> it's tagged so, you. Tag You're you. it. No. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, we mentioned on the show last week, Divyesh, uh, another good friend of the show, uh, is doing this uh, 22 push-ups in 22 days. Oh, the, to oh, show God, solidar- God. So, solidarity that. with the American Armed Forces. Uh, so anyway, it, it, I thought because um, I don't read things properly, <laughs> I thought that <laughs> thought that it was like you do one push up a day, or you sort of you know. So basically, you end up doing twenty two on the twenty second day. It's not that. Thank God for that. No, it's twenty two a day for what? Some, yeah, what every day? Yeah, every day for oh twenty two days. Oh my God! Uh, and then of course at the end you nominate people uh, to, to do the same challenge. So Divyesh has, has nominated Barry. 
uh, quite sensibly never mentioned us at all because what's the point in wasting the thumb doing the, the typing when you know that it's you not, the end product is not going to happen, right? <laughs> uh, however, Baz has not been so sensible. Baz has, has uh, right at the end, right, Baz is doing his thing. Thanks to Divyesh for nominating uh, to me to do the 22 push-ups in 22 days to show solidarity with the American Armed Forces, blah, 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 blah. And then right above me says, and for today I nominate my old peacock gym pal, Mark Morris, who's uh, Mark the Cap. Yeah. Uh, good luck. And also Collins Mason. <laughs> So I've just I've gone oh how we laughed <laughs> uh, and uh, and there goes another one and then a little picture of an aeroplane and a pig. Hold, hold on a second. Scrubbing off the cross cross crossing off our Christmas, Christmas card, card list, list. exactly yeah. right. Uh, so uh, but then a little while so he, he's then <laughs> replied a bit later on and he's gone. It was more aimed at Andy Mason as part <laughs> of his new lifestyle <laughs> regime. <laughs> Uh, Where you go, this? Oh, I'll thanks. just clear a space. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So right. that's not going to happen, Baz, is it? Oh. Uh, right. New feature. I didn't even know I had this. Yes. Come on in. Explain it. Um. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> Computer comes up. There's a new version of iTunes. Do this. So I did, and now I see things I've never seen before. I don't know what it's done. Thanks, Apple. This is good, though. Good Where day, I got yeah. it, I've got no idea. Uh, Soul Talk, it's me you're thinking of.
Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hyphen London Taxi.com. Uh, there you go. That's uh, I didn't even know I had this. Exacto Mondo. I found out where I where I got that from. Sold to Gavinus fourteen. All oh, right. Okay. It's available. I on, thought I'd heard it before. So it's available on Amazon nine ninety nine, or you can go down to Gary Dennis's where it's uh, twenty one ninety nine. No, I've got the CD indoors, and ah. that's why that's why I know I've heard that before. Fantastic. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of you know I didn't even know I had it. Now shopping news on the Collins and Mason shopping channel. Uh, last week we brought you news that uh, Iceland were bringing to uh, the fore Twix cheesecakes. Yes, and Mars ice cream. Uh, yeah. Or something. Yeah. The good news is. This week, they're half price. <laughs> really? <laughs> Didn't go so well, then. Obviously not. Obviously not. Did you ever get that big Stack side of, of ham? Them cheap. No, oh, no, that I was didn't. Li- that was Lidl, no, that was Lidl, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I didn't. Foolishly. I bet they've gone there. Well, 25 also, quid, they were, Yeah, they? 25 quid for a you're whole going, side you're, of you're ham. Going, you're going to Italy. You can bring me one back. Yeah, right. I've got to see him carry, carrying that over his shoulder. I've already had very strict instructions. Caveman like. Uh, only two pairs of shoes. Oh. How, a, how, can a, I, how can I make that kind of a decision? Day, a day? How can I make that kind of decision? <laughs> Does she not know, Imelda? No, she's yes. not. You know, I'm thinking about all the music needs to me and the influence that it has had over so many people's lives. I love the way music sounds. I love the notes and keys and the bass and the drums. I love everything about music. I love the way it makes me feel. It moves you, it proves you, it lifts you up, puts you in a time and a place. It's music. I like it. This is a tribute to the music. Oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> music is something that will touch your soul. Singing along to all the words you know. The universal language of the world For every woman, man, boy and girl Premonition of the days of old Jesuita, my coma, fed, they brought so much so Teddy smoke and Luther, oh so cool Just to name you, this is her The music makes you want to dance
This is Liquid, Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hyphen LondonTaxi.com. Uh, that was former UK soul chart number one. Uh, got knocked off the top spot this week. Um, brilliant, though. I love it. Tom Glide and Gina Carey, tribute to the music. Top uh, tune. But we will be playing the number one, uh, the new one, uh, in the show later on. Oh, good. But uh, so, it, they're, they're, that just not reason alone not to go anywhere. See you in a couple of minutes. Do you need to get to or from any of London's airports with the minimum amount of fuss or bother? Then you need my-londontaxi.com. With very competitive prices, smart taxis and drivers, my-londontaxi.com is the stress-free way to go. All of our drivers have had the most stringent criminal records and background checks and have all passed the world-famous Knowledge of London test. You won't have to tell them which way to go. All of our taxis are fully licensed, insured and wheelchair accessible and you can choose from the six-seater Mercedes Vito taxi or London's iconic traditional black cab. My-LondonTaxi.com can also supply taxis for weddings, tours and corporate events with full account facilities available. For further information, please visit My-LondonTaxi.com You're listening to Liquid. Free-flowing music to open your mind with Collins and Mason in association with my-londontaxi.com
brings out the best in us. Just bring out the best in us. Just bring out the best in us. Talk about it. Mm-hmm. Some people call me slow and they did know like I love you. Just bring out the best in us. You bring out the best in us. You bring out the best in me. I bring out the best in you. Just bring out the love in us. And you'll hang out the best in us. Just bring out the best, baby. Just bring out the love. Tell me why I feel this way. And I tell you, love, I want you every day. Come on, give it to me, baby. Come on, just to give it to me, baby. Come on. You bring out the best in us. I love you every day. Come on, just bring out the best in us. Just bring out the love in us. Just bring out the best in us. Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with myhyphenlondontaxi.com. Uh, that, uh, did I slip another Arthur Miles track in there? I think you might have done it. Yeah. <laughs> hey! I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Uh, yeah, no, that's um, Arthur Miles. Uh, off the album Blue Boy, uh, Bring Out the Best, that's called. Good album. Yeah, it is a good, good album. album. Like that. Yeah, no, I've, I've, uh, I've sort of made a point of, um, you know, flipping across a few Arthur Miles things that I, I didn't know uh, well, not as I didn't know existed, but uh, I hadn't heard before. So I was amazed when you told me his uncle was Wes Montgomery. I think it's his uncle, yeah. Uh, was Yeah, Wes, Wes Montgomery, the, the jazz guitarist. That was one of my favourite Blue Note albums. Oh, was it? Yeah. What, Wes? Yeah. Oh, right. Fantastic. Yeah. Right, hot news from uh, Japan. Uh, Jap- Japanese car makers Mitsubishi have been ordered to stop selling eight more models amid claims of the scale of its fuel fraud. I don't know why people buy Mitsubishi's. They should buy a Tiguan. <laughs> a brown one. <laughs> according <laughs> according, we're, we're according to the interior. on-board computer, I get 137 miles to the gallon. Uh, yes, yeah, on the Volkswagen. Of course yeah. you do, yes. Uh, 
<laughs> I would imagine this is probably. I would imagine most car manufacturers. Do you but, think well, they lie about the urban uh, that combined miles per gallon? Do thing. you think so? Yeah, I mean, if you look at uh, the London Taxi Company, right? If, if you go on their website, it will tell you that a new London taxi will do a route. I think it was it urban combined or something yeah, or combined yeah. urban uh, that it will do thirty four miles to the gallon. Ah, ah we laugh. We uh, how, oh how we laugh. <laughs> Um, I have a 2015 London taxi, and I cannot, doesn't matter what I do, downhill, foot off the accelerator, cannot get more than 20 to the gallon out of it. It just won't happen. And if you put the aircon on and on the motorway, it goes down to about 12 to the gallon. Well, I was going to say, see, that's your problem. Urban combined is what it says on the tin. It's a combination of, like, spinning around to the shops, going on the motorway. Sitting on the drive, going going nowhere. (laughs) Because <laughs> I said, Mark the cab, right? He's uh, he's doing, you know, the London taxi. Um, oh, what's he doing now? He's doing, uh, nicked his electric one back. Uh, well, no, he have... he's gone back to his other one. He's, he's got oh. a cab anyway. Oh, right. Um, but uh, he's doing the, the, the uh, every year. In September, the uh, London taxis take all the, uh, the kids down to Disneyland in Paris. Um, you know, the underprivileged oh, right. children. Yeah. Uh, so he's uh, he's doing that. It's but like the Pied Piper of charities. Yeah, <laughs> just keeps on giving. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, th- that is loads of them go. Um, but um, why don't you go? You could take me. Well, it, it, it's actually <laughs> hard to get. Yeah, <laughs> take you. Um, it's actually quite difficult to get on it. It's, it's uh, you know, lots of drivers want to do it. Really? Oh, yeah. that is. Good. That's a good uh, sign. But uh, but Mark um, Mark does it. He's done it for the last I think two years, and he's uh, but he's got an older taxi. Uh, it's a I think it's about a 2004 uh, TX2. Ooh. And um, what the charity decided was uh, that um, they would stop taking the TX2s because they break down a bit too often. <laughs> So, because he was a bit stumped, because uh, you know, like, so I said, "Well, use my cab." Like, it's only a year old. So, anyway, so he, he cut a long story short. He's, he's using my cab, and he, he just said, uh, he, "He said to me the other day, is there anything, any characteristics that I need to know about?' You know, before I, I sort of yes, take it. Yes, it won't break down, mate. Yeah, well, I, no, I don't say that. <laughs> Touch wood. Anyway, uh, so I said, um, "Yeah." Fill your wallet up with money because <laughs> it will do a lot less fuel than yours. Drinks like a fish. <laughs> oh dear. And don't put the air conditioning on. Just, you know, let them sweat. <laughs> <laughs> They're only kids. They'll be happy enough. No, bless them. And like uh, dogs, wind the window down, stick their heads out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good call. Watch their tongues go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh dear, yeah. So, so yeah. So I lose my taxi for a week next. Uh, well, it'd be yeah next week. I think a week, it, or a week after. Or are you driving the TX2 for a week? Uh, no, we did offer. I, I politely <laughs> declined. <laughs> <laughs> did you notice you can rewind this on the podcast? Did you notice the derisory way? Well, it's a TX2. <laughs> it's a bit like some, well, I don't know why he's got a cab, No, it's you know, a very nice TX2. He well. might as well just go around giving the oyster cards out. He's got... <laughs> no, he's no, he's, no, he's had it all resprayed and everything. It looks lovely. It Ooh. really does. Like it shines. Like, oh. yeah, like a diamond in a goat. 2004. That's a classic, isn't it? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like its driver. Uh, anyway, so we're concentrating on the UK soul chart at the moment. So, yeah, uh, because it is in fine fettle at the moment. Yeah, isn't it? it just. Uh, so um, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, Tom Glide and Gina Kerry just got knocked off the top uh, this week. Yeah, but what have they been three, four weeks, three, four one? weeks, something yeah. like that. And Tom's uh, such a nice fellow. No, he is. Uh, but number one this week, brand new in at number one. Oh. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't break into our mate. <laughs> no, I restrained myself. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, Frank McComb, this is brilliant. Taken from the album Soulmate, Another Love Story. Uh, this track is There Are No Words. Have a listen to this.
this is Liquid with Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my-london-taxi.com. Uh, that was number one in the UK soul charts at the moment. It's uh, Frank McComb. Uh, that is called There Are No Words, obviously because it's an instrumental. I realised that halfway through. Uh, and <laughs> quick to catch I up. I use the keyboard, but it's so good. <laughs> uh, but uh, the album is called Soulmate, Another Love Story. So that's just one of the tracks taken off it. But it's actually the album that's number one, Excellent. Uh, which is good. Uh, and, and a couple of weeks ago, we played the track called Light Chicken, which was a uh, very sort of jazz funk orientated. Yeah, nice. Night, really nice album. About 12 tracks on there. Two or three fillers. But normally it's the other way, the equation other works way the around, other way yeah. around. It's a good yeah. album, check it out. It is. And shock horror news just off the press, folks. Bop, 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 bop. Andy Mason has just tidied up his corner of the studio. Well, I can remember back in the day <laughs> when this was first built, we rattled around in here. There were echoes. Yeah, but since then, you see, the current Mrs. Collins, anything indoors that she doesn't know what to do with, she goes, Shed. Man cave. So it, <laughs> so it ends up down here. So consequently, we have one, two, three, four, five dining room chairs, uh, various assortments. We've got a spare table. Uh, fridge. Fridge with a beer. Fridge with a beer. Prosecco. Yeah. Uh, 16 guitars. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> uh, no, how many are there? Uh, six in here at the moment. Two indoors, that makes eight. One Four, out unknown. Fourteen nine. computers. <laughs> uh, yeah, and a load of old crates. Because when we had the kitchen built, yeah, uh, I went to B and Q's and bought those like storage things mm-hmm. uh, to put all the stuff in while and the kitchen now, was being now you done. Don't need them anymore. And now we don't need them anymore. Guess where they ended up? <laughs> down the shed. Down the shed. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> now then, there is a new track uh, from De La Soul, which I've got to oh. say is just Trials brilliant. Of filling joy. Yeah, uh, but uh, it's. Um, we're going to play it after this next one which is brand new entry on the UK Soul Chart Uh, we have played it on the show before a couple of times and it's gone straight in at number 15 and I'm sure it will climb its way up it will it will it will Uh, Mark Staggers I love this I love this track as well Uh, Nigel Lois on the remix duties for Mark and um, Mark if you're listening yeah yeah. (laughs) I miss that but I don't (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what you said. I'll have to rewind the podcast. I'll, 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 I'll throw if you're listening. I'll throw if you're listening. to love. 
This is Link with Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hyphen London Taxi.com. That's straight in at number 15 UK Soul Charts this week. Uh, that is Mark Staggers. Let me be the one, the Nigel Lois remix. I think there's only one way that's going. Straight to the top. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. British that, soul music. It's a right resurgence. Like, this year, the last couple of years, it's been, you know, top quality stuff. It's very, very good. Very, 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 very good. good. Uh, my reputation. Uh, the, um, no, the Mark Staggers, it does sound like Luther, though, doesn't it? I know he, he probably does. hates uh, the comparison <laughs> and, and probably, you know, well, if, if he ever sees me, punch me in the face for saying it. Uh, but no, he's it, I, obviously a talent in his own right, but yeah, he, he has good. got that little Luther-esque a bit about his voice. I don't think that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, mate, it has to be said. <laughs> right, my uh, weekly rant about football. <laughs> oh, ah, back chair. Puts, puts, no, puts no, I'm, no, 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 I'm going to make it quick. Uh, right, you, you can rent. I support West Ham. <laughs> the, the good thing, the good thing about Chelsea is we've got better accountants than Man United. Okay, Be- yeah. because we sold. Um, uh, who did we sell? David Lewis. Who's David Lewis? I hear you ask. He's who the one. David he's the one who looks like the clown in The Simpsons with the frizzy hair. All uh, right. It was also the one that spent the second half crying his eyes out on pitch when they were being stuffed seven-one by um, uh, West Germany. Man up, <laughs> man up, because we sold him for fifty million a couple of years ago. We're buying him back for thirty-two. Which is a bit better than Man United selling them for less than a million and then paying a hundred million four years later. What a bargain! Apparently, we're getting Walcott on loan. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, well, so uh, it's probably just a rumour. Oh. No idea. Oh, all right. Uh, well, the easy play for Arsenal, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that 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 was gonna. Uh, oh no, Jack Wilshire. Jack Wilshire. Apparently, there's twenty two oh, clubs Wilshire? trying to sign <laughs> Jack Wilshire. Right? <laughs> right. All I ask is. Why? Okay, because why? the guy can't walk from one side of the pitch to the other without picking up an injury. If you just like throwing money, you, you know, at the local A and E, help yourself, <laughs> dive in. <laughs> and my last bit of my last little rant is: all I can say is that um, in Italy, in Torino, they can't pick up British soccer, right? Because they obviously didn't watch. England's debacle in Euro 2016 because they've just spent three arms and 14 legs on um, Joe Hart, who seriously <laughs> is the worst keeper I've ever seen in the world. He was brilliant when he played for West Ham, but like most of the others that used to play for West Ham, they go downhill when they leave. It's, <laughs> it's quite... Uh... Uh, and while we're on sport, just a quick well done, chaps. Thumbs up to the England cricket team who scored the biggest score in history. No, this would have been exciting. Oh, really? 444 off of, I don't know, 700 balls, uh, whatever it is. Is 50, good, 20, it, it's, it's quite good. Oh, good. It's, it's, it's in certain circles. It's just swiftly moving on. Uh, well, you like yeah. batting ball games, he says to the golfer. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, wow. Well, oh, yeah, anyway, wow. it's all down to personal taste. I've, no, I've just never been into cricket. It's funny, isn't it? I played it at school, and it actually wasn't that bad at it. Like with the bat, I was all right with the bat. Apparently, it's weren't really too good, good at bowling. Know. And word, used to fall asleep if I was fielding. <laughs> They'd normally catch me lying down somewhere. Word from the uncle. Yes, it's really good to go. What you just spend all day in the beard's head. Yeah, what's the point of that? Might as well just go down the pub. <laughs> Save true. your money on the on the entry ticket. That's true. I'm glad we cleared that up. Uh, right. <laughs> right, brand new track from De La Soul. Uh, they've got a new album out, haven't they? They have. Uh, the album is called And The Anonymous Nobody. It is. <laughs> There's a little funny story about this. Right. Well, on, on iTunes it said, um, De La Soul weren't going to do this. Why? I don't know. They just, just can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure not, that's not really the reason. <laughs> but... Um, but somebody started a crowdfunding thing, and yeah. they raised so much money, they thought, oh, I'd be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? Excellent. And you should see the list of people who... who, who this track is uh, the most popular by far on iTunes. And features... Snoop Doggy Dog. It certainly but does. Shizzle Dizzle. Girls. <laughs> Gentlemen. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> you can be hearing a lot of that in the next coming weeks. Uh, no, but they've got loads and loads of... Uh, you know, for something that was crowdfunded, they did quite well. No, the production's spent, really spent good. Spent their actually. money wisely. Uh, so this is De La Soul. Uh, this is a track called Pain, and it features... Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> Thank you. 
for shizzle, dizzle. Liquid, Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my high from LondonTaxi.com. I am loving that. I am loving that. I thought that would be loving right that. up your street, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, De La Soul is taken from their new album and the anonymous Nobody. Uh, that track is called Pain and it features Snoop Doggy Dog. And I've unplugged my phone now, so I can't do that. Fortunately, Andy said. Oh, yes. uh, actually, oh, well, go on, yes. you know, what? last week yeah. uh, we got the twanger out for the first time in a long time. The what? The twanger. 
Oh yeah, sorry. Guitar, uh, and I, I <laughs> sort of messed up a frankly hooker riffs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, during the week I was doing. I was going to just do this to you and me personally, not on the radio. Uh, but I, and, I came uh, up with an idea. You know, like we both like the old classic rock riffs and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Didn't we? we we've uh, done the um, ACDC to death. Yes, right. Yes. But uh, during the week I was I was playing like rock riffs, like mainly ACDC ones, to be honest. Uh, but. I, I, normally you have the guitar like loads of gain, loads of distortion because that's the way they, they play it. So, but I picked the guitar up, and the, the amp settings were just like on uh, sort of not jazz guitar, but like sort of an acoustic-y sound. Right. And I played them just slightly differently, and I, I think you could make different tracks out of them. The riffs oh, because excellent. they sound different. Oh, we'll so like we'll that. run. We we'll maybe have a go at that. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, we could ask the viewers what they think. I know oh, right. uh, the first reaction will be, Mark, put the guitar away, stop playing it, please. But No, uh, I think it's good. We might have a go. Yeah, yeah, we we could, uh, yeah, I'll have to tune one up. I'll tune one up while the next week. Now, something to uh, avert your eyes from on the telly very shortly. Ed Ball's on Strictly. Yes, I saw that. No, oh, he I, was doing a pit on the old red car. Honestly, he looks embarrassed. He looks like, you know, like your weird uncle. Your, your pervy uncle at the wedding. Yes. He d- when he dances... You've got one with red trousers, I seem to remember. Yeah. Anyway. When, when he dances, yeah. he pulls his sex face. Oh, no. All the time. Really? You can imagine his chat-up lines. Have I ever told you about the time I, t- I sold the UK gold reserve when the prices were on the floor? <laughs> I think that was Gordon Brown, actually. But really, anyway. Ed? How very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I d- <laughs> can I have my bum back? <laughs> yes. No, no. But I think it's going to be, the, it's like you said, actually, a couple of weeks back. I think this is going to be, like, he's going to stay in. The, the public will leave him in just yes. from the cringe no, they No, that's definite. That's, that's a given. He will be in the final. Because I happened to, uh, by mistake, and I, I, seriously, this was by mistake, I was flicking through, there was nothing on the telly, and, it, and it, it landed on X Factor as the phone rang. So I just left it on while I answered the phone. Anyway. And it turns out, and I think this is actually quite funny, that all of the other judges, I can't remember who they are, Louis Walsh and... Uh, Sharon. Yeah, and the girl off of... Saturday, you can't tell. Yeah, that's the one. Um, and, and obviously Simon Cowell. Yeah. But the, the other three vote in the really, really bad ones just to get on Simon's nerves. <laughs> And it's quite funny. Actually. Tactical it's, voting. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's <laughs> kind of given a, a new, whole new dimension and angle to the to the program, which I quite like. It's yeah. like that sort of sadis- sadistic tendency. No, but you want that. It makes good telly. You, you don't want three sycophants going. Ooh, oh, you're so oh, good. you're so marvelous because yeah. he's not. Uh, no. <laughs> And the only thing that got on my nerves a little bit is... Uh, Most of it. Well, yeah. But you know when someone's going to be good because they waste about five minutes of telly time on their complete life story. I know, I was flicking through, and I'd just see one young girl. She was about 16, sang in her mum's pub or something. She, she could actually Blonde sing. Blonde hair with a baseball cap. That's the one. Yeah, yeah Scottish. I think, I think she'll... Yeah, she's very good, actually. Right. Very, very good. Hmm. Uh, but, yeah, but you get that whole kind of, you know... No, know, but this is the best bit. This is where you get the pub drunks coming on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've already signed him up for the next uh, round of auditions, folks. There we go. Uh, right, we had a request come through. Andy Cannell. Uh, Please uh, shut up and play more music. Well, there was that to that. Uh, but also he said... Um, <laughs> It did make me laugh. I was going to ask for something from Incognito, but I'm sure you'll be playing them anyway. Oh, kind tick. of half true. <laughs> <Yeah. that works. laughs> we played the Tony on Rail track in the first hour. Eh? We, you know that. We're nothing if not predictable. Uh, so it, what he's done. This is very clever. Oh, go on. Right? So as I was trying to find some brackets, mm. places, and spaces Ooh. on the golf course yesterday, <sighs> without much success. What could we possibly play with a request like that? Uh, Oh, Oh, hello. How about a bit of Donald Byrd? Yeah. Coming your way.
is Lick with Mark Collins and Andy Mason here with my hyphen London taxi.com. Spaces and places and things. Uh, Donald Bird. Uh, oh. Going to play that for Andy Cannell. Uh, who uh, in a big um, in a, <laughs> we played we played a golf course on Tuesday uh, called Bentley, which is near Brentwood in Essex. And um, uh, how can I put this? I know you know. Obviously, hitting a golf ball, you, you you're trying to be as accurate as you can. You're trying to hit it as far as you can. That sort of thing. Right. Uh, Bentley is probably the tightest golf course I've ever been to. And one mm. of the guys said uh, he said little a little tip for you if you're playing Bentley. No matter what club you use, make sure it's the one you hit the straightest. And I, I understand why now. <laughs> Blimey. Yeah, I reckon there's not a tree on that course that I didn't hit. Oh. <laughs> and I think Andy Cannell had the same problem. So Military golf. <laughs> left, well, yeah. right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> it's all over the place, mate. It was not fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that was at uh, uh, Donald Bird for Andy. Mm. Right, right I've, I've, I've removed a twanger from the wall. Right. Um, this is a particularly fine uh, instrument. I love this one. Oh, uh, this is a Fender is Telecaster. Favorite. Yeah, um, the three pickup Nashville version, which is brilliant. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I, 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 you know, I was playing these riffs because, um, as you know, playing a guitar, that's all you're really interested in. To be <laughs> the best uh, bits, yeah, the best bits, and. Um, uh, and but the the tone settings on the amplifier just weren't the right settings for for that particular bit. But I thought oh. actually that's not that bad, you know. Like I, I wonder if you oh. could make some sort of a track out of uh, of doing it differently. So what I was doing, I was doing like back in black from ACDC, which goes a little something mm-hmm. like. Well, I won't do that bit. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So, yeah. And then I was doing um, Highway to Hell. Namworth, how you doing? <laughs> uh, so if you... I've just, I had to ask Andy to do this because I can't reach it. So he turns the knob the other way. So See, I've never been technician before. <laughs> <laughs> so you end up with uh, a sound which is more like a... Oh, it's much more laid back, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. But it's the same, it's the back on black riff. So it's MC Unplugged. It's quite fun, isn't it? And then the, the, the other... What's the other one sound like, then? Well, Highway to Hell. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see what you've done there. Sounds better like that, too. See, it, it, well, it's different, isn't it? See, I Colin, say I'm not Colin, the first person. To... Colin, if you're listening and you need a 48th guitar, we've got the man for you. <coughs> yeah, use the other 47 before you get to me, though, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the last phone call. <laughs> no, but do you think that no, works? No, no, I do. Oh, no, I think that works well. All right, okay. Well, now we're, well, then we can take it a step further, maybe, next uh, week. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm right over here because I need to hang it up, otherwise it will fall over. I do. Oh. They're very clever, them clasps, aren't they? <laughs> Uh, guitar hangers on the wall, yeah. Just hold this yeah, for a just moment. Just hold that for a minute while <laughs> Oh, while you're uh, readjusting yourself. Oh, I had a little um, tweet extravaganza with, did with, you with mum i saw you put something on there which i even i didn't understand and i said that is obviously tweeted that from the oh, planet I, I, and no i noticed that a couple of numpties were going what are you on about <laughs> the don there was well, a, the reason is, is is you tweet from a much superior intellectual level there, there than was, most no other no people. no there was a picture <laughs> of, of something obscure about um mexicans Right, <laughs> mostly naked. Oh, right. So it was and political. I, and then no, and then I and then I put, is this what goes on behind the Donald Wall? Oh, and, then, and I've got messages like cryptic. No, bleeding obvious. No, because you didn't put the picture up though, did you? <laughs> no, I did. Oh, did you? All oh, right. Well, anyway, <laughs> my my little my little thing with Kaz. Uh, uh, yes, and Mum, as, 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 yeah. as she's well known. Uh, well, she was having a she was having a little interaction with her friend Mia Popescu. All oh, right, um, that's a and, nice name. That's isn't it? a proper. That's name, a proper name, yeah. Mia Popescu. And wow. um, and and she tweeted a picture of a sparkly bog. <laughs> It's the best way. I a think. toilet, you a mean? A toilet. Oh, right. Okay. Very sparkly. Well, like just the seat or the whole thing? Or? Well, I can't remember. The whole thing, I think. Oh, right. So, 
So then Kaz retaliates with her sparkly plimsolls. Oh, so you can have toilet and matching <laughs> plimsolls. And says, yeah, oh, look, I've got a matching combo. So I thought, I'll join in this conversation. Oh, dear. <laughs> Dragged it right down to your level, no, I dare say. No, I just put. Oh, I know where this is going. I, I think. just put. I can't. I can't find a, a croc themed uh, bog. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to be it, to it, down to croc to it, level. Mia came back straight away, quick as you like. Diamond bullet to the forehead. Yeah, crocs are so last year, darling. <laughs> So I was surely tempted to go back with, you're talking to a man who hasn't got a Facebook account. Oh, I'm not an early adopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I, I'm confused. Go you on. know these five-star, all-inclusive uh, Mallorcan hotels you seem to frequent of late? <laughs> yeah. Go, they, going they, again in about four weeks, They I actually think. let you in with Crocs, do they? Oh, do regard. <laughs> I've got a T-shirt that sports the legend, I'm wearing these Crocs, ironically. <laughs> uh, on that note. Uh, right, we promised you uh, some um, some impersonators this week. Because last week, uh, uh, Bobby Womack was impersonating J- John Lee Hooker. John Lee Hooker, in yep. Impersonating him, him uh, doing a Rolling one. Stones track or one of his No, they they re- they, uh, they, they, they re- knock at me. <laughs> <laughs> that intellectual yeah, that's level is just straight, straight, out, straight the out the window. No, they they wrote. Uh, he wrote. Um, yeah, I know the Rolling Stones track. Yeah, yeah, because it was it was released by him and his brothers. Yeah, oh, originally. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the Valentino. Valentino, that's something. it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, so we've we've scanned the internet wide and uh, we found another impersonator for you. This this guy does James Brown, uh, but this also doubles. Oh, it's like a double whammy. This is because oh, yeah. you know last week we mentioned that uh, the next Olympics will be in Japan in four years' time. Yes, and so we thought we'd play a, a Japanese. thing. Well, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to. I can see that. I can see. I can see where your brain's going with this. Uh, so this is Osaka Monorail, which I think is a brilliant name for fantastic. a band fantastic but it turns out that Osaka Monorail this yes. Japanese band yes uh, now this this takes me back to a time in the old Kent Road oh uh, yeah there used to be a Chinese restaurant what was it called I can't remember Chinatown oh. or something uh, no it was Graceland's Graceland's that was it, it? yeah 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 Graceland and uh, the guy the proprietor of Graceland in the old Kent Road he used to come out whilst you was having your Chinese meal dressed in the full Elvis regalia the, in, in the Las Vegas oh, yeah. white jumpsuit white ju- well, rhinestones the, right yeah rhinestones the big collar thing beer gut he had his hair done exactly the same or it might have been a week i don't know i was probably too drunk but uh, and he used to do uh, elvis impersonations except yeah. it wasn't really an elvis impersonation he used to sing elvis songs in the style of a chinaman <laughs> which uh and which, it wasn't really a restaurant because you had the choice of menu a or menu b yeah well that was yeah that, uh yeah so uh so anyway this is a japanese man uh who's part of a band called osaka monorail impersonating james brown i don't think he's do you think he's meant to impersonate james brown i think he just did a james brown track but what makes me laugh as well if you look at the album is a gentle nod to jhw because it's live in spain <laughs> Oh, which is where JHW, the third presenter of the show, never turns up, is on his way to as we speak. He's probably still on his way. Anyway, this is called Jam. Check this out. You ready to bat him up my jam? You ready to bat him up my jam? You ready to bat him? You ready to bat him? Can I go back? Can I go back? Can I go back? Can I go back? To 76, 1, 2, 3. Four, four it was he was looking for. <laughs> you ready to jam? Ready to jam? Yeah. Can I jam? Yeah. Ready to jam? Yeah. Can I jam? Yeah. Ready to get it done? Yeah. Can I jam? You hit the drum. Hit it up. Yeah. Woo! Jam on my jam. Jam!
Do the what the parquet flooring? Pop? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't uh, get away with that. <laughs> this is Liquid Mark. This is Andy Mason here with my hyphen London Taxi dot com. That was a soccer monorail, uh, Jam nineteen seventy six, live in Spain. That was. Uh, no, he didn't make a bad job of that. No, oh, I'd been getting down on my bed myself. Mother. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, no, it was quite good. Anyway, there you go. It, it sort of teams up a double, uh, double whammy. Somebody impersonating somebody else, and a uh, tribute to the Olympics mm-hmm. uh, in four years' time in, and, in yeah, Tokyo. See, multitasking, uh, and as a special treat to our listeners, uh, no brownie points this week. Uh, no, give you, give you a <laughs> No, I wasted the time with the guitar. No, sorry, uh, but uh, yes, uh, brownie points. We'll see if we can come up. We'll, we'll get some more next week, shall we? Should we get a right stinker? Yeah, get a real stinker. Out. All right, then. you do it. Okay. Anyway, have a great week, people. Let's just mm. hope this weather stays like it is in London. Although I don't care because I'm in Como at the moment, drinking with your bad buddies with Arthur Miles. <laughs> nice. Sup on that. I'll uh, <laughs> see you next week. Have a good week.